Are you tired of games that stress you out with how serious and difficult they are? Do you want a game that looks and feels like a children's cartoon? Well then put on your feety pajamas because it's time for Piku Niku. Take on the role of the beast as you are woken from your slumber by a ghost. Then you'll be well on your way to acclimating yourself with a moveset including the classics like jump, kick, and turn into a ball. Make your way into the village below your hibernation mountain to terrify the villagers. Meet all sorts of weird characters like the mysterious Mr. Sunshine of Sunshine Incorporated who has the nefarious plan of taking things from the towns and giving people money for it. Jump and kick your way through the environments completing puzzles that are just challenging enough to keep you motivated to continue playing. Encounter many games that will have you saying, wow, that's definitely a minigame. Discover even strange or optional side missions that function as some of the most challenging parts of the game and still finish them within minutes of starting. Use all of this time to collect various hats and tools you'll need to progress, along with the time-honored tradition of cosmetics. Don't forget to track down all of the trophies scattered and unlocked throughout the game so you can rotate and admire them like a true nerd. Then finish off the game in a few hours and wipe the non-existent sweat from your brow as you're tossed back into the now fully rescued world to do a few side quests and find all the stuff you missed. Piku Niku, the video game equivalent of a 9-foot basketball hoop. Just tall enough to look realistic, but when you dunk on it, everybody knows the truth. But at least you're still having fun, right? Thank you for watching Abbreviated Reviews. I'd like to take a moment to remind everyone that I write reviews for more games than I make videos, so check those out too. I know that's not an exciting proposition, but trust me when I say they are adequate. Plus, you get to know how I actually feel about a game rather than how many ways I can make jokes about it. Wow, I really know how to sell boring content.